So the leader is approaching uh, the Cape of Good Hope. Uh, should be there early uh, Sunday morning. Uh, Shemini Pujala leading by about uh, 89, 90 miles over Neutrogena. Shemini Pujala further to the north and in slightly more uh, unstable breezes. Stronger uh, northwesterlies for Neutrogena. You can see Shemini Pujala just occasionally stepping down around about uh, 100 miles a time. Down uh, to the south, converging slightly with Neutrogena. Gaius uh, going better now. And Renault uh, Captur making about 12, 13 knots uh, in good northwesterly breeze now uh, and uh, pretty much on course. We are water and uh, one planet, one ocean, still uh, on the edge of this uh, ridge of high pressure, still struggling to get out. Uh, and a new high pressure zone building for Spirit of Hungary just in front of them. Ranking this uh, Friday, the 23rd of uh, January, 9 o'clock this morning, Shemini Pujala, Bernard Stam and uh, John LeCam, leading by uh, 92 miles from uh, Neutrogena. Neutrogena at 44 south, uh, Shemini Pujala 39 south. Boat speeds very similar uh, over the last 24 hours between the uh, top three boats, but uh, Gaius Centris Auditivus, uh, quickest on the morning speed gun, in the last 30 minutes uh, up till nine o'clock. Uh, 18.6 knots for Anna Kerbea and uh, Gerard Moran on uh, Gaius Centris Auditivos. Uh, 516 miles behind the leader. Then uh, Renault Captur, 8.8 .8, uh, knots. Quicker uh, over 24 hours, but just slowed slightly in a ridge, I think. We are water, 12.3 uh, knots. Uh, one planet, one ocean, 10 knots this morning. And Spirit of Hungary, 8.8 .8 knots. Pour comprendre l'océan, il faut le mesurer. Donc, euh, entre autres, on fait ça avec ce type d'instrument. Ça s'appelle un, un flotteur Argo. Il y en a actuellement 3600 dans les océans. Et ça mesure donc euh, la salinité avec température et conductivité. C'est un appareil qu'il faut donc euh, distribuer. Et euh, nous avons besoin de, de trouver 800 solutions par an pour euh, mettre ce type d'appareil dans l'eau. Et notamment autour de l'Antarctique, ça pose un, un grand problème parce qu'il y a très peu de navires qui y vont régulièrement. Euh, ces appareils-là seront donc déployés avec, euh, avec le volet des courses. C'est mis à l'eau, après ça plonge sur euh, 1000 mètres de profondeur. Ça reste pendant 10 jours à cette profondeur-là. Ça va dériver avec le, avec le, le courant sous-marin. Euh, sous après ça va plonger juste à 2000 mètres, puis ça va remonter à la surface et ça va mesurer tous les 20 mètres euh, la salinité et aussi la profondeur euh, euh, de, où la, la baille se retrouve. Ça monte à la surface et ça envoie les données euh, à la maison pour un traitement immédiat. Ana, comment vous plantez vous le dia Argo Bueno, bon, j'ai vu le mail que je disais ça et la vérité c'est que nous devons regarder tout ce qu'il y a à faire pour voir si nous pouvons faire aujourd'hui parce que nous avons une mica de vent. Nous devons regarder voir si nous pouvons faire aujourd'hui ou o mieux nous espérons à cavaler une mica de vent parce que ara mateix nous ne savons pas quel est le protocole et nous voulons faire ça pour de le faire, de pouvoir le gravar et tout ça, non que nous a fait beaucoup d'illusions, non Pour pouvoir être utile pour la communauté scientifique, faisant cette regatta, c'est un valeur ajouté que à moi me fait beaucoup d'illusions à Gérard aussi. Et bon, nous sommes déjà avec envie de faire toute la cérémonie de cette, de tirer la, la valise à l'eau et nous savons que nous allons mettre quelques messages, nous ne savons pas ce que nous allons écrire, mais nous allons mettre. Nous sommes déjà dans les 40 rougens, et qu'est-ce que c'est Nous sommes entrés de poc, nous sommes parlés de dies, c'est brutal parce que nous sommes passés de, de, de estiu à hiver, en, en 24 heures. Nous avons 25 nous, vous savez, et nous ferons... Nous faisons un front cette nuit, le premier fort que nous faisons, tout i que l'autre jour, nous avons eu des jugues bastant forts. Et bon, bé, la vérité est que le barco va bien, nous autres eh, aussi, tout i que nous avons eu quelques problèmes et tout, mais nous avons fait, nous avons arreglé tout et nous avons fait. Évidemment, nous avons en compte la, la zone d'explosion, mais ara mateix 
estem fent la, la ruta que volem al marge de la zona d'exclusió, no? Eh, si si baixéssim més a baix, tindríem massa vent pel, d'aquí uns dies per, per les nostres, pel nostre barco, no? I nosaltres no, no ens podem posar de foc en, en una zona molt complicada i per això anem per aquí. No, no ens està passant molt, la veritat. Ahora mismo la, las condiciones que tenemos, pues estamos justo pasando un chubasco, teníamos 25 nudos, pero ahora mismo hay 30, y bueno, ahí está llegada aguantando, no sé si tenemos que hacer un rizo o qué, y bueno, como veis, pues es, es muy gris, y nada, la, la temperatura del agua ha bajado ya hasta 15 grados, y bueno, y, y la del ambiente también, unos 15 grados. Es, es bastante húmedo, bastante gris, y... So, talking first of all about uh, Anna Corbea on uh, Gaia Centros Auditivos. Uh, she talks uh, about launching the Argo Beacon. They're needing to check again the protocols and uh, to see if it's suitable to launch. They want to make sure they do it uh, properly. Uh, but uh, she, like the other skippers, very much supportive of the scientific community and uh, what we can learn from the Argo Beacons. Uh, echoed also today by... Uh, Guillermo Altadil saying that uh, being able to help is uh, something which is dear to his heart uh, and talking, he talked uh, briefly about the pollution on a tide line coming down into the uh, Roaring Forties. He said there was nets and plastic and all kinds of things and uh, obviously seeing these kind of things really enhances the uh, mood and really makes them want to help as much as possible. Uh, Anna talked uh, about the uh, being into the Roaring Forties, uh, said the temperatures really dropped down to about 15 degrees. They went from summer to winter in just 24 hours. They have about 25 knots of breeze. They're starting to be... Uh, on the edge of this uh, new front, and they'll see 30, 35 knots of uh, wind. They're just talking about keeping the boat going. They uh, do mention uh, consistently about fixing things, uh, and uh, they seem to have managed to do that pretty well so far. They asked a question about the exclusion zone, but uh, really doesn't really apply to them. They're very much in the uh, middle track, if you like, between uh, Chemini Pujala in the north and uh, Neutrogena in the south. Uh, talking briefly also about Spirit of Hungary. The Spirit of Hungary do have this uh, new high-pressure system uh, coming towards them, and that's going to slow them down for the next 48 hours or so. They had been making good progress. Nice uh, blog, if you haven't seen it yet, from uh, Conrad Coleman, just explaining that uh, everything is going better for them. They're really working on their crew work, and that is uh, they're quite fluid and uh, pretty composed in their crew work. We're in a, in a system where we set all the routings and uh, they show us to close to sail as close as possible to the to the zone. Even if we want the zone, we should sail a bit more south to get better pressure. So we try to slime the this line uh, as much as we can. And uh, yeah, it was because we basically it was because there was more pressure uh, more south. That's why we hit the uh, the limit of the zone. Uh, now we drive from four and uh, we are sailing uh, a little bit north, uh, north but just parallel to the line. It's the typical conditions, it's like uh, green sky, big waves, cold, being almost all the days they are uh, the same. You know, the, by night you cannot see the moon, you cannot see the light, there's no arm horizon, no reference is black. By day it's uh, like a gray day in the, in the winter in Europe, cold, and sometimes the big waves and the only thing you can see in different uh, part of the waves of the sky is the albatros uh, flying around you. Uh, the last days we were, bit, we were a bit busy here and uh, I should call him so probably the next day when it's all quiet I will call Alex and so will how we all. Well everything is uh, contributing to have more knowledge I mean, of the audience is quite good. We know this all this area is not a place where it's easy to drop this, uh, these Argos. Uh, for the uh, scientific community. We have to make a trip on purpose to do that, and it's quite expensive, but a lot of effort. And we are selling on these uh, seas, uh, competing with the from our race, so it's, it's quite easy for us to contribute and make a little uh, effort to have more knowledge of the oceans and, uh, well, to, to have more information and try to avoid uh, all the key contribution. 
So the leaders uh, all in a good strong breeze in general in the uh, northwesterly, but a very different situation for uh, Neutrogena and Chemini Pujala. Chemini Pujala seeing a northwesterly wind around about uh, 19 knots uh, this morning, but it will build uh, in the northwest to uh, 30, 35 knots, maybe 40 at times. They'll make good speeds today. Uh, they should make three jibes uh, between now and uh, Saturday. Uh, as they approach the Cape of Good Hope, just these uh, consecutive steps uh, to get down a little bit further to the south and staying with the strong breeze. You can see their tracking uh, is uh, really about staying on the strong corridor of wind. They have a, a ridge just uh, to their south, and that's really what separates between them from uh, Neutrogena. Neutrogena would really like to be getting further south, the uh, exclusion zone is at 45 degrees south, so they're really paralleling that line, uh, and uh, the strongest breeze is to their south. So they're just going to work along that. About 90 miles apart are the uh, top two boats. Uh, Gaia Centra Sagittivus are also now on the uh, front edge of uh, the uh, same low-pressure system that uh, Neutrogena are in, but uh, Gaia seeing the, build, the breeze building today. The uh, had about a northwesterly, westerly breeze of 28 knots just now, but uh, they too will do three jibes to stay in this uh, northwesterly airstream and uh, 30 knots of uh, true wind speed today. They're round about uh, a day, maybe 25 hours behind the leaders, uh, and we should see that when they get to uh, Cape of Good Hope. Water. Situation for the leaders today. Two systems completely different and forecast. In the north, we have still Pujula with the influence of the northwest will be increasing in force, could be close to 30 knots from northwest going to Cap Ode. And for the Neutrogena in the south, very close to the exclusive zone to 45 south, very close, but with a system of the low pressure, they will be uh, this weekend, there can be a Sunday in the morning at the longitude of Cap of Bonne Espérance. Gaes is still in a good speed too, and will we'll be uh, they are around 20 hours be be behind the two leaders. About Renault, it's still in, actually in the southwest and will be increasing during the day also, so better speed for uh, Renault capture. For the two boats, uh, we are water on Oppo, it's more difficult, light weather with the high pressure coming, moving, moving fast on the east. It could be okay for we are water, but I think for Oppo, they will have wind against, so it will be more difficult to him to have a good progression. Spirit of Hungary is still in a very bad complication of wind because very small wind from north and it will be Two days difficult to pass this system before coming back in the in the south to the 40s.